Finally, in this tutorial in Access 2010, we are going to learn about reports. We covered uh, designing tables, uh, designing queries, running queries, customizing queries, and forms in the previous tutorial. So if you want to familiarize yourself, please check the previous tutorials on this, on these components. So uh, reports. Reports basically it's uh, a way of generating uh, specific pieces of data so that you can print it out. You're basically running a report for a specific function or specific something. So to create a report you go under, let's say we want under the customers, let's say we want a list of all of our customers. So you can do reports on multiple tables, you could do once the tables are linked together, very similar to like queries or on a single table as well. So under a single table, uh, we click on create, select the table, you go under the report wizard, and then uh, you pick all the different pieces of the data that you want in that report. And you click on next, click on next again, sort them if you don't want to sort them by first name, last name, or however you want them. Next, next, and then give it a name, press finish, and that's our report. So basically it looks nicer for us to print this out. Once you have generated the report, you can also go under um, and change the layout here under landscape and so on. You can change the margins, you can change the paper size and print it. This is basically our print preview here. So we're going to close the print preview. This is how it looks in the design mode or yes, actually in design mode. But uh, you can change it into layout view and change different things. So you could change, for example, the themes again just like we did in other components of access databases, such as queries or forms. You could add totals as well, account the records and uh, count values and all that type of thing. Basically it's giving us the total in the bottom. Once we are all set, we go back into view and this is our view for reports there's also the print preview where you'll, this is how it will display so this is a report for a single table you can create reports for multiple tables very similar to like we did for the invoices let's say we want to see all the customer name, first name, last name, and also invoices with uh, amounts. So we go under create, go under report wizard, then we pick, uh, let's say the customer ID, first name, last name, and then let's say we go under the, or let's say contracts, and we pick the contract amount, date and type. Next. So notice we are um, getting the data here from multiple tables. This is how we want to view it. So basically for each customer it's going to list us in their contacts. We click on next. And then how we want to sort it or group it in any levels. This is for the sorting. Let's say we want it by the date. And then next. Give it a name press finish. So no basically here for John Weiss it's listing us his contracts directly under him. So they are kind of grouped together by each customer. Again like we said earlier you could go and customize this report further. If you wanted to print this report so we go under um, print preview then we press print and of course you could print it into PDF, if you have PDF reader or print it directly to a laser printer or some kind of printer that you have. 
couple other things before we finish uh, with uh, Microsoft Access here. Any of these components and what we have generated here, particularly the queries and so on, we can export this data into, say, back to Excel. So let's say we have the late uh, fees from the customers and we want to analyze this uh, further. You can right click in this and choose export and you can export it in any of these formats. So if I say Excel and click OK, at this point it should have saved it under this location. So if we go open the file once it's complete there it is in Excel and from here we could customize this and run reports and actually not reports but analyze the data in Excel creating charts and all that type of thing so you could do this with the queries you could do it with the reports or any of the components or even the tables themselves as well uh, keep in mind those queries uh, that we created here you can additionally use this data for doing mail merges uh, from Microsoft Word or uh, using Word and Excel to and uh, Outlook together you can also do email merges and uh, very finally uh, sometimes you might need to repair the database or compact it and repair it it's uh, usually under file and then compact database and this is where you use the password protection so that's basically it as far as uh, using Microsoft Access these are some of the concepts on uh, using Microsoft Access 2010 you can review it and view it as many times as you need to and hopefully this is helpful Thank you for watching these video tutorials and um, let me know if you have any questions or post comments below.